Alex Gray, linebacker, University of South Dakota. Andrew Gray, safety, University of South Dakota. We both actually played safety in high school. Freshman year, I played receiver, and then sophomore year, we both got moved up to varsity, and I played safety, and he played the other safety. It was really everything. I mean, so you can run up the stairs the fastest, we pushing each other down the stairs, seeing who can get up, you know, first one up, everything. Who could eat more, <laughs> who got to the shower first, it was everything, and it was always ending in a fight, too. Getting recruited to the University of South Dakota was a little bit different. I was offered a scholarship after my junior year of high school, and then Alex wasn't offered a scholarship, but they kind of told them that they had a spot for him on the team, like as a preferred walk-on. As he gets here, he could earn, earn himself a scholarship. For me, it was kind of like a, if he wanted, if he was willing to do it, then I was willing to do it. I got the opportunity to play here with my brother, and you know, I love the place. I loved everything here, so couldn't pass it up. Whether I had to pay for it for the first couple of years till I earned a scholarship or or not, you know, I just couldn't pass it up. This is the biggest relief to me, you know, being a walk-on and then earning a scholarship was like finally, you know, you work so hard for it and you feel like it'll never come, but then once you finally get in the game and you make an impact and then earn the scholarship, you know, it's finally a relief. It's kind of like in a way, like you made it. I just always tried to keep hope in his mind, good thoughts in his mind, because I could see where it'd be easy to get down on himself knowing that I had a scholarship and he didn't, but there was times where I told him he, I thought he deserved it more than I did. And if there was like a way I could have gave it to him, I probably would have. I think redshirt year for me was really different because I was used to playing with one other safety in high school and then um, we came here to the University of South Dakota and I think we had four or five guys deep at each position. That was, that was really different, but my high school coach prepared us really well and he just said keep a level head, keep your head down and work hard. Um, your time's going to come eventually. It's tough for me being a walk-on because you want to make an impact as soon as possible to get on the coach's radar and earn your scholarship. So for me, um, I came in as a safety and the day before fall camp, I got moved to linebacker. So I weighed 190 pounds and was really undersized and a red shirt. And I was like, okay, so I know my scholarship's not coming anytime soon. But uh, I knew that's what the coaches wanted of me. They wanted me to eventually move to linebacker and we had a lot of safety. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. And that, it taught me a lot and developed my football IQ. So the two interceptions against Southern Illinois, it was pretty interesting because the first one, um, they got in a formation and I kind of had, had an idea of what they were going to do. Not a lot of people know this, but I stepped out of bounds, so I didn't celebrate, but it got called back, so I'm very happy. And then a few plays later, I just dug Lewis our corner. He said something to me and I looked at where the receiver was at and I looked at the quarterback and he was staring right at me, so I knew that he was breeding me. I just gave him a little bit of a disguise and baited him into throwing it and then I had to work on my stamina a little bit. The second, the 97 yard one was my last play. That was it for the game. Couldn't feel my legs. <laughs> you know, I just can't wait to get started. Can't wait to work with these guys, you know. I miss spring ball, so I'm, it's gonna be fun being able to play football with these guys again. My favorite thing about, since I've been here is probably I think we won two games my first year, and then we come back and look at last year and getting two games deep in the playoffs, and we just hope that we can um, continue getting better and better and try to win a national championship. I'm getting my degree in business administration. I'll be done in December, and uh, hopefully Mac move back to Chicago and find a job there. I'll be student teaching this year, and then I'll be done after that. My plans are uh, to either be a graduate assistant, become a college coach, or high school football and gym teacher. It'll be different, you know, we've never been apart and we've been together nonstop since our last four or five years in college, so it'll be different. I think he's gonna call me every day. He's probably gonna be crying, calling me every day when he graduates and I'm still here.